the Liberty Men's Ultimate Frisbee team hosted the Virginia Conference Championships, where the Flames were able to have a solid showing in the two-day tournament as they would finish fourth at the event. We knew every game this weekend was going to be tough. We have a really tough section. We have three teams in the top 40-ish. And so uh, we knew we had tough games. We couldn't take anybody lightly. So we came out and uh, a little, little shaky against George Mason in the first half, but then only held him to one point in the second half. Ended up winning that game 13-6. Um, to six. Against JMU, a team that um, usually is better than us, we came out. We're winning the whole first half. We're up two at halftime, but they, on a dangerous play, they kind of knocked out our main handler. So, you know, you got to deal with the emotions of your teammates seeing somebody go down like that. And so he couldn't play the rest of the game. We ended up losing on Universe. So we had to bounce back quickly because we had to end up playing William & Mary, who's ranked 28th in the nation. And so we ended up beating them on Universe, which is obviously a huge win, never beating a team even remotely close to 28 ever. So our whole concentration this whole weekend was changing change the narrative of everybody looking at Liberty and being like, ooh, easy win on the schedule. And so I think we've achieved that. Uh, yeah, coming into the weekend, we our goal is to win the tournament. Uh, we were really had high expectations coming into the weekend. Um, and I think we proved, we didn't win this tournament, but I think we proved we can hang with anyone. We beat William & Mary in a tense, uh, intense game with a lot of people watching. And we think we really made a statement there uh, that we're here and this program's different and we're here to stay now, so. With the Flames placing fourth, they qualify for the Atlantic Coast Regional Tournament on April 27th through the 28th, which would be the first time the Flames would ever qualify for the event. I've been on the team four years and we have never made it before and it's uh, so hyped. This is my last season as uh, you know playing and so happy to play with these guys and we worked so hard for this. We had some struggles at the beginning of the semester, you know, team stuff and all we had to do was, you know, get down on the fundamentals and that's what we did and we pushed through and I know the guys are excited, I'm excited. Uh, we're all going to go home, sleep well at night and yeah, we're ready for this next two weeks. We really think we should have made it last year. Uh, this year we made some changes mid-year to uh, our program and those have really paid dividends. Uh, I think from here on out it's going to be an every year thing. Personally, if we keep putting in the work that we've been putting in, uh, it should be an every year thing. It should be the expectation now. With the Flames now prepping for the regionals, they feel they can not only have a solid showing at the tournament, but potentially earn a bid to qualify for the national tournament. Going forward, we're going to have to keep working on the things we do best and working on some things that we think that we're going to see. So sometimes we can struggle against the zone, for instance. So we're going to have to work on that zone offense. And, and I believe that if you're good enough at something, then you make the other team adjust to try to beat you, not the other way around. So we need to keep working at what we're good at so that we can make teams game plan around us, not the other way around. Yeah, so the next few weeks we need to, uh, during practice, I know we're going to you know, bite down hard on some fundamental stuff that we can just tweak here and there. Um, definitely work on our zone. Uh, we had a little uh, complications on our zone today, just offense and otherwise, but just tweaks here and there so that we can, you know, compete very well at regionals. Nationals is like crazy to think about because last year we didn't even make regionals, but I think if we can compete with teams here at sectionals, the top teams in our section are the top teams in our region. So. If we can compete here, I think we can um, definitely pull some upsets at regionals and uh, get our position into that game to go to nationals, um, if not this year, next year.